you know, the sun was still up there when I was getting ready. Going to be a little bit harder to get to sleep here. In All right. Well, let's check back in with you in a minute. The Alaska Club, along with every other gym, yoga, studio, or bar class, was, of course, affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, and in ways it still is. But as you'll see in this next story, they've tapped into an emerging technology to help keep their workout warriors safe. For a lot of people, the gym is more than just a place you work out. It's like the most positive place you can go. It's, it's the best part of the day. So a year ago when they were shuttered due to the pandemic, it caught many off guard. When I think back on it now, it was surreal. Including and perhaps especially the businesses themselves. We also had to be thinking about how we were going to provide a safe environment. Any positive COVID testing? In a somewhat unknown set of circumstances. As things began to open back up, using hand sanitizer, wearing masks, cleaning more often, those were obvious. But CEO Robert Brewster wanted to do more. That really included a significant amount of uh, capital improvements to the facility. Upgrades for touchless entry, commercial grade HEPA filters, electrostatic sprayers and foggers, as well as something a little more outside the box. The installation of Active Pure throughout our facilities, and that's a full envelope uh, sanitizing system. Since most people don't necessarily know what that is, we reached out to Joe Urso, the CEO of Active Pure Technologies, to explain what it is and how it works. It's kind of hard to visualize, but imagine that you have um, a million different Pac-Men flying through the air, gobbling up pathogens safely while you're in the room. Ignition. The forebearer of this timely tech was created by NASA back in the 90s. It's cleared by the FDA and currently is being used in a double-blind study at the Cleveland Clinic to help reduce hospital infection. It can also be used in everything from gyms to schools to buildings, even homes. And on average, it costs about a dollar a foot to put the technology into a location. As for its efficacy, in testing, the numbers are impressive. According to the Active Pure website, it kills a significant amount of pathogens, but its real-time application at, for example, the Alaska Club, is tougher to parse out when combined with everything else they're already doing to keep people safe. Well, there's not a, a perfect way to do that, but we know uh, that we've had over 800,000 visits to the facilities since we've reopened uh, and that the pandemic has been underway. And we've had zero reported cases of COVID uh, amongst our membership uh, or uh, from our employees uh, that seems to have been transferred here at the club. And though they still haven't reached pre-pandemic numbers... Certainly the gap has shrunk. Robert Brewster does see positive signs with increased vaccinations, decreasing infection rates, and the efforts of his club. Any, any positive COVID tests? Any symptoms? He hopes that that's going to bring more members back into the building. Coming up, it's no small feat to put on a state championship event. Doing so in a pandemic raises a whole new set of problems. What the cost of keeping kids active this school year has been to Alaska's activities body.